Hey, baby. <laughs> I think you would like to meet my monkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do me. Do me, baby. <laughs> yeah. If you mean what I think you mean, I'd rather bathe in battery acid. Cool. <laughs> Are you gonna be naked? <laughs> yeah, give us some of that. Come on. <laughs> Certainly, sir. Coming right up. Here you are, sir. I am Cornolio. <laughs> My bunghole will speak now. <laughs> I need TV for my bunghole. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Are you threatening me? Could I ask you to stop doing that? I need TV for my bunghole. <laughs> sir, please. If you don't, calm down. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Um, hello? <laughs> I'm gonna make that chick play faster. <laughs> this is impossible. Whoa, check it out. Cool, we got that chick's flute. Okay, Beavis, let's kick a little ass. <laughs> My God, what have you done? That was a precious instrument, not to mention a very expensive piece of equipment. I'm taking you little deviants down to the dean's office right now. Boys, here at Highland State, we spell discipline with a capital D. Under most circumstances, you would be escorted from the campus and, depending on my mood, be arrested. I'm going to extend you to the option of heading on down there to the cafeteria and working off these heinous damages you've caused. Get ready for nachos, Beaver. Out! I'd like a few beans, please. Oh, and I've got to have some of that corn. Might I have a bit more corn? Oh, yes, and some meatloaf, please. And how about some jello? Might I have a bit more corn? And some more beans. Oh, yes, and some potatoes. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Hey, check it out. There's no one left in line. Let's get out of here. Let's, like, go check out that Dean dude again. Boys, I must say that I am both pleased and surprised. I just got off the phone with the cafeteria and was told you did more than an adequate job. Hello, boys. I'm the psychologist here at Highland State. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. <laughs> Why don't you sit down? Let's get to know each other a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Butthead. So, is there anything on your minds today? Uh, no. Um, I have something. <laughs> Boobs <laughs> and butt cheek. How about if I just ask you a few questions? Yes. <sighs> She's gonna ask us some questions about boobs and butt cheeks. <laughs> Lady, we have all the answers. <laughs> uh, are you gonna like psych us out or something? Yeah, cool. Let's get psyched. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing like that. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Adolescence is a fragile and transitional time. If I could just ask a couple of questions, I might be able to assist you with straightening a few things out. Uh, you've already helped me straighten something out. <laughs> so what was it like growing up, Beavis and Butthead? It's pretty cool if you like to watch TV. <sighs> Yeah, 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 but um, hey, but it, we never score. <laughs> Whatever, Beavis. What are your plans for the future? Watch TV and break stuff. <sighs> yeah, and not go to tool class and do it with college fluff. <laughs> do you boys often feel hostile or angry? Uh. Only about stuff that sucks. <sighs> no way. It's like, if someone pisses me off, I just kick their ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn it, Beavis, shut up. Shut up, butthole, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> what are some of your first childhood memories? A squirrel taking a dump. Uh, are you like being kinky and stuff? <sighs> hmm. 
I would highly recommend the pursuit of further analysis for both your boys. Uh, you said anal. <laughs> yeah, and asses. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> come on, buddy, this sucks. Yeah. We can come back and do her later. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, boys, you take care now. Beavis, if you don't jump next time, I'm gonna have to, like, make you jump. My grandmother can jump higher than that! <sighs> Let's smack some balls with our wood shaft. <sighs> I'm gonna, like, take these to the party or something. Hey, Beavis, if we, like, put this piece of paper here, then maybe people will think Van Driesen is blind, and then they'll, like, not care that the music sucks. <sighs> I don't know, buddy, it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think, like, if he's blind, it's supposed to be. Excuse me, sir. So, guys, uh, <sighs> could you, like, put these on and stuff? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, <laughs> um, like, sometimes sunglasses make you look cool and stuff. <laughs> but, um, you know, you're, you're like a teacher, so <laughs> nothing's gonna make you look cool. <laughs> Butthole. <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Shut up, dumbass. Well, thank you, guys. That's very thoughtful and considerate. Come to think of it, I am starting to feel some adverse effects from the rather relentless ultraviolet rays out here today. Well, yes, they have a very practical design to them. Thanks, guys. This is a very kind gesture. <laughs> Jester. <laughs> this rules. 